In today's video guys, I'm going to show you the new best settings here in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 and also how I can make your game look like this here. So many people always ask me, Michael, why is your game so colorful, so saturated? It looks so much fun when you play it and when I'm trying to hop on, it's super blurry and washed out. I quit after half an hour. Well guys, there's some settings which you actually have to change as well in your NVIDIA control panel in order to make it as colorful and bright as mine. So therefore, I'm first of all going to hop in game, explain you exactly which settings you need and which you don't need, which just cost you basically performance. Then I'm also going Going to show you the best nvidia settings and then also the color settings so therefore stay tuned guys i'm going to explain everything step by step and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and also comment down below what's your current gpu because i'm highly interested what's like the average right now in the community so guys and as we right now here in our modern warfare 2 settings i'm going to show you in the first place please put your display mode on full screen nothing else not windowed borderless whatever this one gives you the least amount of input delay of course your maximum refresh rate your maximum resolution which you want to play on this is all up to you guys and gamma you're gonna leave on default as soon as we move over to quality this is now where it gets beefy guys because those are the important settings and i want to tell you straight up i don't utilize any sort of upscaling and this has a very specific reason do you remember in mw 2019 or warzone in the beginning all these modes weren't really working it's the same thing right now guys give the devs maybe like additional month or something so they can collect data from different gpus from different players you know and then optimize it more and more because as of right now it's just simply not worth it you still get lag spikes where you like let's just say on average like on 144 fps and it drops down to 60 out of nowhere this is super annoying so therefore no upscaling just simply keep it on native 100 percent which is your current resolution and i also wouldn't really recommend you to scale it up because call of duty over the last few years doesn't really benefit from this the only thing which really helps with better picture quality is straight up getting a higher resolution panel that's all you can do about it so therefore keep it on 100 and now guys anti-aliasing is the only thing which i keep on a higher preset yeah we have filmic t2x and this has a very specific reason anti-aliasing basically makes sure that objects in the distance are not like super blurry you know and you can actually see the edges around it and i gotta say i don't really care about the textures of the model itself you know i don't care how it looks like i just always want to be able to fully see him moving around this is super important guys competitive advantage yeah so therefore you're gonna keep this on filmic t2x and for the rest put it all on low guys yeah you can see here low 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 the shortest possible particle quality nobody cares around it nearby level of detail you gotta put on low as well guys basically everything which has something to do with particle quality textures i just keep it on the lowest possible the only thing which i have kind of here now right now enabled is bullet impact sprays because let's just say you're walking around a wall and you can see bullet impact you know there's an enemy competitive advantage this is just me of course you can turn it off if you really want to guys but personally i love to have this feature because it actually sometimes helps me to find an enemy or see like okay he's shooting from that direction there's a bullet impact and then the only one which i also have here only enabled in this whole entire quality and texture section is terrain memory guys also important because it helps you to load terrain faster which means yeah less potential lag or like these abrupt fps drops to like 40 50 fps Yes, you know what I'm saying. So therefore, here in this first section, only anti-aliasing up, guys, the rest on the lowest. As we now go and take here a look, guys, at streaming quality, volumetric quality, which is basically lighting only, or water quality, all of these, put them on off or the lowest. You simply don't have to care. It's just costing you FPS. And the same as well with shadow and lightning, guys. Yeah, I really have it on the lowest possible because, yeah, they just simply don't matter. You just care about a short picture. You don't care how good the lightning is looking like and all that stuff. So therefore, we got to put it to the lowest. The same as well with all the reflections which are in the game i have to say again i don't simply care put it too low now the only feature which is also somehow helpful guys is post processing effects and that we have nvidia reflex low latency mode which actually gives me less input delay i have to say guys yeah i've already been utilizing this in my nvidia control panel where we're also going to take a look in a few seconds but again it's personal preference you have to try it out for yourself some people also say that low latency modes on monitors don't help them and some like me say yo they actually help me so therefore try it out for yourself and for the rest we're gonna put everything on off because yeah depth of field world motion blur just gives us a blurry picture we don't want that so and once we're done here now with the graphic settings we're gonna hop actually into our nvidia control panel and i'm going to show you how i can make your game look exactly like this here so guys i know we're also going to take a look at the best nvidia control panel settings first of all in terms of performance and you can already see it guys on the global settings you basically just have to copy all of my settings something like image scaling i wouldn't really use as of right now ambient occlusion guys you actually gotta put the performance this is basically like an image sharpening 
tool which we don't need as of right now guys the same as well with antistrophic filtering and everything which is somehow related to anti-aliasing is basically just going to give you a sharper picture but those are like additional steps which are outside of what we already changed in modern warfare 2 so therefore yeah if you want to go for maximum performance make sure to turn all of these here actually to off guys yeah then we're going to go here the only one which i would actually leave from these is gamma correction because it has something to do with your picture and brightness it doesn't really affect your performance as we go next up here guys background application maximum frame rate kind of interesting you know you can maybe put like google chrome or discord to actual fps cap in the background if you're like super struggling with performance on your pc but usually you don't have to care about this really then for this next step guys cuda gpus now you're gonna leave on all dsr factors you're gonna leave on off guys this is basically like a dynamic resolution better said if you're like swapping between like different resolutions don't really have to care about it guys low latency mode here i personally have to say i utilize it tons of people have different opinions about which one feels better on or ultra some people evil some people even might say that off feels better for me personally on is the best guys here on my zoe xl 2566k yeah therefore i utilize your on actually a maximum frame rate guys only makes sense if your fps are super unstable let's just say that you're averagely running like 100 fps here in mw2 but sometimes you have these random moments where it goes like to 180 200 fps because you're maybe in a closed house or you're looking you know into the sky something like that this can actually put some more pressure onto your gpu causing maybe even thermal throttling which means it's going to overheat over time which is also going to slow it down so therefore if you have like these random fps drops and like really like low spikes this might maybe be the point why this happens then of course monitor technology my monitor here right now has g-sync compatibility i don't utilize it but it's just enabled you know in warzone itself i actually disabled it and for the rest guys you're gonna put your power management mode onto prefer maximum performance then we have here something like preferred maximum refresh rate which of course is the highest possible shader cache size personally for me i have to say if i limit it to 5 gigs guys then afterwards it always gets refreshed always giving me new shader cache data basically this helped me and yeah prevent like stutter in games over a longer time you know let's just say that like out of nowhere next week you have fps drops this might maybe also be the main issue because you have interrupted data in your shader cache then in the next up guys texture filtering anti-strophic sampling i have on off again another mode just making sure that the textures look fancier i don't really care about it we're going for maximum performance negative lod bias you're just gonna leave on allow guys texture quality we're gonna put of course to highest performance not highest quality or performance straight up highest performance because we want to get the maximum amount of fps out of our pc and for the rest you're gonna leave it on off auto off off basically everything which has something to do with like vertical sync you don't really want on a gaming monitor something above like 75 hertz and virtual reality we don't have to care about it so that's why we're going to click on to apply and apply these and to really make your game look exactly like mine right now here on screen we have to now go over to just desktop colors guys and this is where the magic happens because my digital vibrance is on 50 percent guys and in addition to digital vibrance which you're gonna change here which is by the way the only option from these which you're gonna touch here we're also going to go over here now to adjust video color settings guys and there you can actually put now your saturation from something like 50 to 75 percent and if you change both of these here correctly guys you're gonna have a way more saturated picture it's gonna look a lot more colorful warmer and the game overall is gonna look more fun to play basically and then for the final step i can only recommend you guys to check out my latest video where i show you how to get the best drivers for gaming in 2022 but before you do that don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and as mentioned also comment down below what your current gpu is and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace